everybody. Um, welcome back to Mega Turd Saga Part 4. I did not want to make this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the, uh, the vocal lessons downstairs. Uh, I might bleed through. Um, and to YouTube, all of this is coming from public forum. This is all factual information. I'm happy to provide any proof at all uh, that I'm being harassed. Uh, and at this point, uh, I have libelous uh, claims made against me, and I'm about to point out two of those right here, right now. So, uh, Ben Jackson, uh, I should say, uh, where we left off, Ben had filed a privacy complaint and failed on the first video I put out. Um, he's now filed a second complaint, and I was just going to let it go, whatever. But he, the weird part is he filed it against the first video again. Uh, you'd think he would have filed against the second one or the third one. I mean, obviously, they check out the first one, and YouTube's okay with it. So that's kind of strange. Um, so moving on from that, I figured we're done. Uh, but then t today, I get uh, two different uh, emails from people. One is from my friend who is a high up at Musicians Institute. And let me make sure. Let me go ahead and switch this over here. All right. Jennifer B. I don't know Jennifer B. Jennifer B. is out on the East Coast if you go check out her Facebook. Um, the Facebook actually says that she's in New York currently. However, this says San Francisco, California. Jennifer B. never attended Musicians Institute, yet Jennifer B. is writing uh, on Yelp a Musicians Institute review. Jennifer writes... Would you mind explaining to me why Tim Pedersen is endorsing a drummer, Jeremiah F. Palmer, that is illegally harassing me and doxing my personal information? This person failed an audition and thinks it's professional to harass me on email and post videos about a personal band decision on YouTube. This is cyber harassment and defamation of character slash slander, and I will be getting the police involved if you do not rectify the situation immediately. Uh, before going on to the next one, let's break this one down. So, so this is a person that never attended the school. Uh, they're explaining why, why Tim Pedersen. Tim Pedersen has not wa worked at Musicians Institute in a significant number of years. Uh, they totally spelled my name wrong, by the way. And anybody who knows me knows that I don't go by Jeremiah F. Palmer. Uh, it is illegally and harassing me and doxing my personal information. Well, so here's the funny thing. Uh, you guys notice the, the way that's written is written a lot like Ben Jackson. Uh, not well thought out. The sentences aren't constructed well. Uh, the grammar is poor. Uh, well, why does he say is harassing me and doxing my personal information? I've never met Jennifer B. I don't know who she is. She both lives in San Francisco and in the Bronx. The same. Funny thing is, here our little picture right here. Here's a woman with none other than Ben Jackson. You go to the Facebook page for her that claims that she's from and living in New York. There's a lot of pictures of Ben Jackson on there and then some pictures of this woman. So I don't know if this is Ben writing this or if Ben put her up to it. Uh, but moving on, this person failed an audition and thinks it's professional to harass me on email and post videos about a personal band decision on YouTube. First of all, he never, we never had an audition. I asked how much money and could I see the contract? They didn't provide one and he flipped his lid. So failed an audition there was not never an audition to be had that, that's insanity right there um, and I won't even address that anymore uh, about a personal band decision on YouTube I'm not I never said anything about the band anyway this is cyber harassment and defamation of character slander and I will be getting the police involved if you do not rectify the situation immediately that sentence has a whole bunch of horrible things that are horribly inaccurate. First of all, you're going to get the police involved with Musicians Institute because Tim Pedersen is endorsing somebody that doesn't work at the school anymore while Tim Pedersen doesn't work in the school and the school has no affiliation with either of them anymore. You're going to call the police on them. Uh, cyber harassment, defamation of character, slander. Uh, name one thing. Point out any one thing. I will provide all the transcripts I have. You can find everything on, on YouTube and then links and such. I can provide more to any individuals who want to write me. Uh, so this is just, this is Ben 
either getting somebody else to do this or more than likely because the account says it's from different places and all that. These are probably fake accounts set up by Ben. He's been known to do it. And again, like all my other videos, I'm going to send links to third parties who have all had issues with him. So you guys can look at this firsthand and realize I'm not making this up because I have a vendetta against him. Moving on to the second one I got, very similar. This is a friend. So that was on Yelp for Musicians Institute. This is a Facebook Messenger message, I believe, that got sent out to an amazing guitar player I know, one of the best musicians on the planet, uh, as far as my opinion goes. Uh, and so he wrote me, yo, so a fool either has a fake profile or something, also blasted me on Facebook. This is my friend writing to me. And then, so Jennifer Ball, same, let's see. Jennifer B, Jennifer Ball. Uh, Jennifer Ball writes, and again, picture of Ben Jackson. Would you mind explaining to me why you are endorsing a drummer, Jeremiah F. Palmer, that is harassing me and doxing my personal information on the internet? This person failed an audition and thinks he is professional to, to harass me on email and post videos. This guy is a nutcase, and if I were you, I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole. He's using you as a reference and doxing people on the internet and posting slanderous, slanderous malicious videos about them on YouTube. Stating facts. The cards were dealt and they are where they lay. I continue. It's illegal, it's unprofessional, and I'm about to get the police involved. I would not associate with this person if I were you because he behaves inappropriately. We, my band, and my group want nothing to do with this guy. Please handle yourself accordingly and disassociate yourself from him. He seems to have fallen on hard times. Sorry. Hard times and is vicious and vengeful of others with the lack of his success. Think of us just as any other company that fired him. He is not emotionally stable nor professional. Thank you. She doesn't even sign a Jennifer Ball because, well, as we, I'm sure you guys can tell, that's that's been behind that. So this one, I mean, actually has more to it. And then uh, he writes, full on slandering you, false accusations, and basically threatening me. And then, well, anyway, let's not let's not get into his other next comment. So, but um, going down through that, so a lot of it's uh, just cut and pasted from the email, or not the email, but the posting on Yelp. But this one continues with. Uh, with things like, this guy is a nuts case. I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole. He's using you as a reference. Yeah, well, th this is one of my friends. Doxing people on the internet, posting slanderous, malicious videos on YouTube about them. Okay, we went over that. I'm just, I'm just laying the facts out there. It's illegal. No, it's not. Point out one thing that I've done that's illegal. You reported me to YouTube twice. You have nothing. You're the one creating fake accounts or getting other people to go and write this fake stuff with no... And here's the thing, buddy. I have no reason to do any of this to you. The only reason you could do this to me is because I'm out there, I'm successful, and I'm making things happen so you can find me and get at me. I can't do anything to you because you're a nobody. You're nowhere, you're nothing. That's why you think you have this position of impunity because you have nothing to lose because you're a loser. And I'm sorry to put it that way, but that's what the, everything that you've done Everything that you've written, everything that you said is your projection of you losing every step of the way. You talk about, I want something for nothing. No, you are the one who wants something for nothing. You want everybody to give you something, yet you, you demand respect, and yet you do not give it in the slightest. This whole thing started because you looked up my Craigslist ad, and you wouldn't look at my one website to see if I was the right guy for you, but you wanted me to look up three plus of your channels and then come play for free and give you money to do. Moving on, sorry guys. Uh, uh, it's illegal, it's unprofessional, but I, I will admit there's been a bit of unprofessionalism with me uh, when I got a bit triggered and all that, but at the same time, I also wanna make these videos because I find this entertaining and it's great to know that there's actually people this, uh, again, Mad Lib, fill in the adjective you want there. Um, I would not associate with this person if I were you because he behaves inappropriately. Again, maybe I have at times, but absolutely nothing compared to this guy. We, my band, and my group want nothing to do with this guy. You have no band. You have no group. You play guitar in your 
uh, in your bedroom. Again, I challenge you to send me a video of you playing with the band. He, by the way, Ben has never accepted any of my challenges. I've just had logical, rational challenges like uh, about his claims. He pl expresses direct, inaccurate claims, and I throw it back at him to go ahead and show where he's done any of this stuff, and he never has. Instead, he, he resorts to name-calling every single time. Uh, please handle yourself accordingly and disassociate yourself for him. He... He seems to have fallen on hard times and is vicious and vengeful and w to others with the lack of his success. Now, that is a beautiful sentence. Let's he seems to have fallen on hard times. No, actually, times are going great, dude. I got a lot of things going on. That's one of the reasons why I, I didn't even consider your band and auditioning for you in the first place. When you wouldn't get back to me, why would I? No, I'm doing fine, bro. In fact, some other people have hit me up since this has happened. They forgot I was around. They saw that shit. They laughed and they hit me up. So thank you. You actually got me gigs. But the best part of your sentence there, I continue with, and is vicious and vengeful to others with the lack of his success. Well, feeding on that thing, yes, I'm doing well now. So what that sentence is saying is you're, the la others with lack of my success. So I'm mad at people who are less successful than I am. Did you reread your sentence? Think of us just as any other company that fired him. I mean, the delusion just keeps on going. He is not emotionally stable nor professional. Thank you. The crazy thing is, is you could take this whole thing and just flip it around on Ben and, and almost the whole, all of it that lacks any substance towards me that he posted fits him directly. And I should call the police about it. He has slandered me and I am looking into it. The downside is because of the interstate thing, there's not a whole lot. So all I can do is report him and get these things shut down and send these emails around. And anytime this pops up is just uh, send links. So again, check out the links down below. Um, I'm, you know, I hope I don't have to do any follow-ups. What I may do is just post links to other things that he posts down below. But this guy is just such an absolute loser. The only thing he can do now is go and place false claims under uh, random names, anonymous names, and people that very well may not exist uh, to try to slander me. And it's, it's, and it's ineffective. You know, as he could tell, go look, you got one star on your Yelp. Nobody cares, dude. You're, you're, you're failing. But maybe that's just my opinion. Uh, if you guys like this, hit the like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Don't don't subscribe for this content. Subscribe for my podcast. That's some good stuff. Um, and you know, if you if you feel like it, go ahead and share it. You know, maybe others can learn from this guy's stupidity.